Hey guys, Triggermeister here. Today I'm going to share with you a project that I just started and it involves this manual RCVS scale. Uh, I started to do more rifle reloading and what I'm, uh, what I'm reloading for is primarily precision so I want a really accurate uh, powder charge on, uh, uh, on each, in each cartridge. So in order to do, accomplish that, I'm working on a powder trickler. And here it is. So you can buy the RCBS powder tricklers for $12 to $15 on Amazon. But I wanted something that uh, was essentially automated. And uh, I didn't want to spend 160 bucks because I don't reload that many rifle cartridges and uh, so I stopped at the hardware store today I got this uh, PVC end cap that's actually for furniture it's about a dollar fifty and you can see those uh, little tabs on there uh, then I attached a uh, vibrating motor out of an old cell phone and uh, then I have this aluminum tube and that I uh, hot glued into this PVC end cap. In here you can see some IMR4831 and what this is going to do uh, it's going to run powder into this uh, catch dish that will then uh, be dumped into the uh, into the brass and uh, finish you know obviously the the reloading. So we're gonna do a quick demo on this so stay tuned. Okay so here's the powder trickler and it's filled with uh, IMR4831 and the goal is that the powder will flow from here into the RCBS manual scale. And the reason I'm using the manual scale is I have a, um, a light sensor that I want to attach to the scale and on the back here you can see there's this little piece of copper and the goal is for the once the light sensor gets disrupted that it'll shut off the powder trickler so here we're going to demonstrate how the powder trickler actually works so my assistant here is going to turn on the powder trickler while I hold it. And here you can see the powder is flowing. I have it set right now to 55 grains, which is a 30 at 6 load on a 168 grain bullet. And we don't have a switch yet. So my cameraman, oh, stop. Allison is actually, she was holding it together by hand, and you could see that relatively quickly we went from, we went right over the 55 grain mark. And you know what? Let's, let's bump it up to 65 grains. Okay. All right. Allie, I want you to hold it together. And I want you to look over here, and when that oh let's 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 stop when it reaches zero, I want you to stop it, okay? okay. All right. Well, wow, that went relatively quickly. Hmm. All right, that's going to be a challenge, guys. So you know, this is a, definitely a prototype at this point. So maybe I'm going to have to see how we're going to make this so it doesn't, so it stops relatively quickly. All right, stay tuned. More to come. All right, and we're back. Actually, I opted out of using the manual scale, and I went and got my digital scale. So here is the finished trickler product. Essentially, I have a PVC pipe here, same setup as before, but I mounted it on a 4x4 block, which is attached to 
a piece of board just the right size and I have the battery here and then I have a switch for fast and a switch for slow essentially in the on the slow side I have a, a diode in line that restricts the flow of the, the current and it'll actually slow it down so here's a quick demo on uh, how it works there you see the vibrator motor and uh, we're gonna run it to uh, 25 grains here here we go You want to start slowing down once you get within a grain. Then you switch to the slow speed. And you got to wait for the scale to catch up a little bit sometimes. Oh, almost there. Uh, there we go. 25 on the dot might not be the fastest way to do it but uh, definitely it's the most accurate so uh, this entire setup essentially most of the parts I already had laying around the house is probably about eight dollars or so eh, maybe ten give or take a couple of cents so uh, that's of course excluding the scale that you have to already have all right, I hope you enjoyed this little project and uh, inspired you to uh, work on something uh, of your own. If you have uh, any comments please uh, or questions, please post them below and subscribe to my channel. Hey guys, Triggermeister here. This is uh, the final snippet of uh, my powder trickler build. And uh, here we have my daughter loading up some 25 grain of uh, Winchester 748 on a couple of 223 loads that we're putting together here. So here she is running it up to 25 and you can see the uh, vibrator motor underneath running and uh, the left button runs the motor fast and the right mo uh, button slows it down and as you can see it just runs on uh, one AA battery alright so hopefully these will be some super accurate loads and uh, really worth the time weighing them out versus actually just uh, measuring it by volume in my uh, Hornady powder uh, <clears throat> powder thrower or the Lee or the Dylan you know I have all three of them so uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel